Dave hates nurses. Let's go to this here, Andy. This is called I hate nurses. Yeah. Jesus. I fucking hate nurses. Now, the reasons may actually shock you. It's because, well, they're a bunch of busy body pieces of shit <laughs> that combine, like, the worst parts of activist culture, the worst parts of just looking out for you, buddy, and the worst part of safety culture. Meanwhile, they go on this crocodile tears that they care about every patient they care that comes through, and in reality, they don't give a shit. I'm going to explain everything in a minute. This is kingly shit. One of the things that drives me nuts with nurses is one, uh, some of them think that they're f***ing doctors and maybe should, should keep their f***ing mouth shut. Like, I have had nurses tell me before that this could be <laughs> this, and it's a fairly serious disease. Well, guess what? That's not your call to make, honey pie. That's the f***ing doctor's call. This guy hates nurses. I love it. I've never seen Because everybody seen worships nurses in society. Hatred. And this was like ahead of the curve with this take. Because this was years and years ago. This was way before COVID, the COVID right? Because yeah. some people hate nurses now because, because of COVID, COVID and their TikTok dances. He's ahead no. of his time. Dave's, He's a poet. He was ahead of his time. <laughs> Dave's hated nurses from the very beginning. Shut the f*** up, take my f blood pressure, take my f temperature, and piss off. You went through two years or four years of fucking medical school. F*** you. You're not qualified. I want the See, motherfucker that went to school for eight f***ing years. He's right. No, it's true. And just to be clear. I can see him in the, you know, judging from the way he debates, he's in the doctor's office, right? The nurse is here. Hey, you're going to have to uh, take two of these pills. Shut up. Fuck you. Shut up. Doctor. He's hitting the fucking button. <laughs> I also do no. not go to see nurse practitioners. I go to see full MDs. I don't care if it costs me a little bit more, but no, I don't trust nurse practitioners because they only went to school for six years and are only qualified up to a certain level. I want the mother that has gotten a doctorate of medicine. That's just me. Personally, I think nurse practitioners should be wiped off the face of the earth. Yes! <laughs> Dave is calling for total nurse genocide. <laughs> It's, he's going in hard in the motherfucking paint, man. This is the old Dave. We need the old Dave back. This Dave, like, he still had optimism. He still had hope. You know, you're so fired up. But my biggest gripe with these people... Okay. ...is their constant weird need... Maybe it's because they're mostly women to kind of... We just want to look out for you. We just want you to be safe. We just want this and that. These are the assholes that pass ridiculous laws like bike helmets and seatbelt laws and blah, blah, fucking blah. Seatbelt laws? <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> bike helmets? I could get behind them on that. Seatbelt laws. Fuck it. Why should you have to wear a seatbelt? <laughs> They take more lives than they save. <laughs> Wait, who said that? In what movie? Thunders. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those things cost more lives than they save. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Dave is just like. <laughs> these bullshit bicycle helmet and seatbelt laws. It's also like bullshit that, drinking and driving laws. That's so Why shouldn't you be able funny. to drive after a couple of drinks, bud? I watched, uh, did you ever see that? The It was like when they changed the laws in, the, in America for drinking and driving, and the news is interviewing people, and they're like, this is goddamn bullshit. <laughs> like, they're so pissed. Any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least drink one or two beers. They're making it laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seat belt when you're driving. And pretty soon we're going to become this country. <laughs> Look, I am an adult. If I want to live my life in a risky f***ing fashion... So it's not even he's lazy. He's like, I'm not going to put my seatbelt on because I want to live on the edge. Like as the adrenaline junkies taking off the f***ing seatbelt of the car. 
Shut the f*** up and patch me up when I get f***ed up. It is not your call to decide how I live my life. Because when the f*** does that end? Okay, we, we make sure he's got a bike helmet on. Okay, we make sure he's wearing his seatbelt. Because we just care so f***ing much about our f***ing patients. Okay, what about my diet? Do you have the right... Well, okay, this I is mean, what, yeah. you know, what's his name? Tim Pool was saying he wasn't libertarian enough to let Eugenia Kumi do that to herself or whatever. And mm -hmm. people were like, well, what about the fat f So you're going to take away their food now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to tell me that I can't have burgers every night? What about this? From my cold, dead hands. Look at this guy. Do you have the right to say that I can only buy a six pack? That's kingly. So it's not even. <laughs> you have the right to say I can only buy a six pack. Yeah. This guy drinks more than six tall cans a fucking day. What a king. When does it end? I, I... That's the first bottle I've ever seen him hold. He's always been oh, cans. It's not the cans, yeah. It's when he switched to cans he lost his mojo. Trying to, of, of being my brother's keeper or protecting people from themselves. And that is how one nurse put it when Minnesota was debating the. God awful seatbelt law, and if I'm ever elected governor, first goddamn day I'm in office, that's the first thing I'm repealing. Or okay, trying to. Okay, so he's gonna try to be the governor. That didn't work out. Eh? It didn't work out. He's not the governor. He was not. He's like, when I become governor, it's like. Remember when Stick said he was gonna run for governor of Vermont? Yeah. He's living somewhere in, like, Europe now, isn't he? Yeah, he's living in the Netherlands. Yeah. And he can't figure out how to get into his YouTube account. He's, like, permanently locked out of his YouTube. No. Yeah, man. Oh, that's they won't let him in. Because he's, like, lost his phone. You shouldn't have to wear your fucking seatbelt if you don't want to. Personally, I think you're kind of an idiot if you do. That's a take. King! <laughs> King! <laughs> you pussy. You pussy. Let's go! Why? Like, what's the logic behind this? I don't think we should legislate away risky behavior because when the f*** does it stop? I mean, you see how insane it is in California with all their f Oh, hey, we're just playing it safe. And you can't build anything in California! Nothing can meet these ridiculous safety standards! And nurses are a big part of pushing safety-first legislation and garbage like that. Tell him, Dave. You know, the sad fact of the matter is I Dave, really see. This is, uh... I want to live my life on the edge. I want to <laughs> live dangerously. I should have freedom. That's the American way. Patch me up and shut the f*** up. I want safety. Go to Canada. Fucking time I Bitch. get in my goddamn car. And guess what? And I actually do. Do you know why? Because thanks to assholes like this, car manufacturers have basically put an incessant beep in the f***. Thing, unless you put your seatbelt on. How dare they? Those mothers do suck though. Like when I'm trying to like just like 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 park the car in the garage or like like just do a quick park job or when we like ding ding, ding like, fine. Ding. Twenty Dave's seconds. Dave's car is just constantly just beeping. Oh ding, no! Ding. The worst is the GPSs. Say you fuck up the the GPS, right? If you're moving, this is like a, like a car GPS, not on your phone. Car GPS. If you start moving, they go, you must stop the car and put it in park to change the GPS. So now in the middle of the highway, don't know what f***ing off right to head off of. You know what, Dave, you're right. F*** seatbelts. F*** safety. So it's not even an option anymore. But don't forget, they'll constantly remind you, click it or ticket. I hate laws like that. I fucking hate laws like that. If I want to wear my fucking seatbelt, it's my fucking choice. It's not your prerogative to keep me keep me from harming myself. Or potentially harming myself because I can wear it every fucking day and still get hit by a goddamn bus. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. This isn't even edited out. No. The edit. You don't edit. One it's take. all in one take. This is the Kino dog. This is what I was talking about. You know, another thing they do is at times. Not like an hour of playing music have... with the lighter. You know, it's like. 
Whoa, today we have another musical score! Like, no, no, Dave never even wrong. plays music. This is the real shit. Why, like, me and God would say, we just, we can't hold a candle to this shit. No. We honestly, we'll never compare to the real wizards of this game. <laughs> the real legends, the real kings like Dave. This is so kingly, man. Caused a lot of problems. Like, they believe, uh, you know, a baby was abused and a doc. I'll give you a perfect example. A five-year-old went in to the ER because he broke his arm from falling out of bed. Now rare, but it does happen. A doctor who specializes in pediatric bone breaks, because it is, you do have to treat it a little differently when there, a child breaks a bone because the bone's still fucking growing. Okay, it's different than an adult. This is a specialist, and he said, this bone is completely consistent with a kid falling out of bed. The f***ing nurses decided that the dad did it, or the mom did it, or he was being abused. Child Protective Services, on the word of the nurses, over the word of the goddamn doctor, took the kid away and put him in, in foster care. Wow. So, f*** you, nurses. Stop worrying about every other motherfucker on the planet. Do your f job, dispense the f***ing Advil, and shut the f*** up. Maybe offer a blow job to a patient just after surgery. Outside of that, shut the fuck up. The only wow. value that nurses have today is to suck your dick is after to surgery. To suck your fucking cock after surgery. Dave, of course, is unaware of the existence of male nurses. Dave <laughs> wakes up from anesthesia and there's a male nurse sucking him off. <laughs> what would King Dave do? That's right, bitch. King Dave would be fired up. Keep, we are not worthy. And this is another thing with nurses that just piss me the f*** off. Uh oh. They constantly sit there and complain and whine. I care so much about my patient. It breaks my... This was one of the lines they used when they passed the ridiculous seatbelt bullshit and bike I love the how half the rant is about seatbelts. <laughs> I've never seen a man hate seatbelts this much. <laughs> Bullshit. And all the other stupid crap they wanted the legislature to do. And, like, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. When somebody comes in and they're all f***ed up, it just breaks my f***ing heart. Yeah, and you go on strike every 25 five fucking minutes. Like, you. Either you're doing it for the money or you actually give yeah, a shit about people. My thought is you do, you just fucking do it for the money. So stop giving a shit about how people live their lives. Because again, where does it end? Where does it end? Personally, I, I wish... I, 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 if Sorry, it was up to yeah, me, no. <laughs> if it wasn't totally unconstitutional, which it is, anybody who enters the nursing profession loses their right to uh, peacefully protest or have a voice in media. Fuck you. I'm so fucking Beautiful. tired of wow. busy body nurses. And that is the vast majority of nurses. So that's my thoughts on this. If I pissed you off, you can always hit the unsubscribe button. Personally, I like it. I personally that's I prefer so if you gave the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that you know when my fat ass has made another video. Based. So that was a classic war corp. <laughs> Bow to your king.